Today, we complete a 99-yard touchdown pass with every starting quarterback in the NFL, starting with Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears going in alphabetical order the entire video. Once again, we are going to be on all Madden difficulty in arcade mode just so we can get some crazy catches today, and every defense the team comes up against will be completely random, starting off with the Arizona Cardinals, actually a pretty solid defense. And yes, I got that timer going so you guys can see how long it takes for each quarterback to throw a 99-yard touchdown, and we can really use whatever pass comes combination. I'll probably just change things up throughout the video. The defense is always going to come out in a random place, so we don't decide what defense they run. As we respot this ball all the way back to the one yard line, I do want you guys at the end of this video vote on who you think throws and has the best 99 yard touchdown pass. Comment in the comment section below with your vote and the highest rated comment will be featured in an upcoming short here on the channel. Guess I need to freaking reset this timer. It takes me too long to do my intro. Now the question is, can we like get this in the first pass attempt? Number 12 off the back of our foot, Allen Robinson is just probably not going to be able to make this catch. Not quite. It's not going to be easy. I mean, it's a 99-yard catch on old Madden. It shouldn't be. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. And if you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. And guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Because if only if we do hit a million subs by the end of the year, which gives us one month to do so, I'm giving away five next-gen consoles to random subscribers. So make sure to take that millisecond to, take to click that subscription button if you haven't, bro. It's just a chance to win a free next-gen console. Why? not but yeah Cardinals D not making today's challenge too easy although maybe Allen Robinson go up double coverage make this catch he makes the catch just while we have this in arcade mode that's a dub I'll catch up with you guys whenever we score this freaking touchdown hopefully everybody blitz here and I think everybody splits there and here is going to be the 99 yard touchdown unless they catch up to me Allen no oh hold on oh Hey, let's go! Is that Darnell Mooney? That's Darnell freaking Mooney in under three minutes we get it done. Let's go, Justin. I would like to give a massive shout out to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Don't let your FSA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use on Warby Parker, prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. But what I'm actually showing you today is my Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Good things await you. Package is open and what we get to do is try out five pairs of glasses that I picked online for absolutely free. You get to try these glasses on for five days. There's no obligation to buy. It ships for absolutely free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. So pair number one, let's see how these look. What you guys think? I think I could rock these. Trying on pair number two. These are definitely a lot wider. I think pair number one is my favorite so far. And these are the only pairs that you get to try on. You have so many selections on the website that you get to choose from. And once again, you get to try on all five pairs for absolutely free for five days. I mean, you can't beat it. Well, this one's super fancy. All kinds of plastic. Glasses number three. Ooh, I think these are my favorite so far. Trying on pair number four, and uh, again, I think I prefer pair one and three. Yeah, I think pair number five is definitely going to be my favorite. I can already tell. Definitely way more my style. I like them. I got the narrow option. I probably should have got the wide option, but that's what this is for, to test things out, try them on. And you guys could do the same thing and try on five pairs of glasses for absolutely free at warbyparker.com slash rbt. Once again, that's warbyparker.com slash rbt and go get yourself some cool glasses. Next, we have Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's a rivalry. For the Bengals, we might try something a little nasty here, some sort of play-action pass. Which they press them for once. I mean, we literally ran out of bounds ourselves. What are we doing, Joseph? I mean, he runs out of bounds on his own. So I, I don't quite think this is the play. Maybe this play-action pass will be a little bit different. He runs out of bounds again. I mean, to be completely honest... This has a little potential. Okay, they're too fast. It's freaking old Madden difficulty for y'all. They thought he was wide open, to be honest. To be fair, they have him freaking clamped. He's gonna have to make the catch break a tackle. Didn't break a tackle. He's in quadruple coverage, bro. Like, what do you want from me? Well, that's not how I thought that 7 minute and 46 second span was going to end, but hey, I'm here for it. That was pretty cool. Now on to the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen against the Miami Dolphins. I mean, we have this guy. We can block. Broken tackle. Okay, second one. This is insane. Ugh. 
I mean, if we can get some blocks down the field here, which is very possible. Cole Beasley, please, bro. Cole Beasley, broken tackle. Another win. We can't get the third win, but Dylan Ever, our best chance so far in under five minutes. I mean, you're open. We can do the same thing with you as Stephon Diggs, too, who should have the speed here to get to the outside. Stephon Diggs, we spin. I mean... It's going to be like that every time. Okay, okay, okay. I got so scared. It seems like our best bet right now is just freaking chunking the ball deep and hoping for a freaking ag catch and a broken tackle. But hey, whatever it takes, I guess. If the Denver Broncos and Teddy Bridgewater up against the Green Bay Packers defense and Jair Alexander. Yeah, this is probably going to take a while. I mean, we have B open. I mean, okay, we have the blocks downfield. We have the broken tackle. Okay, hold on. We have one man to beat. Cortland Sutton, you have the speed. Oh, God. What a throw. Oh, my God. That is called thread the needle. That was an absolute incredible throw from Teddy Bridgewater. Holy crap, where'd that come from? Now we have Baker Mayfield and the Browns versus the Packers again? Okay, if we can beat this man, if we can make this catch, Jarvis. Jarvis makes the catch and he... Oh. We can make this catch. Oh, my. This could be the one. Jarvis Landry. Oh. Oh. Oh! Another five minute or oh my god, dude. 32 teams, 32 quarterbacks. I might be here till 2024. How is Jarvis Landry not beating a linebacker? But he might make this catch and he dropped. How is Rashawn Gary keeping up with Jarvis Landry? Can I please never come up against the Packers defense ever again? I mean, that was against man three deep. I have to make the catch stay up. That is happening way too often. That's the second time that same exact glitch was the reason we scored a touchdown. I mean, I'm glad that happened after seven minutes, but I wish that wasn't the only way we could score. It's such a weird glitch. Like, he breaks a tackle, he breaks another one, but then, like, the third guy just gets stuck on him, and we do the doggy for a second. Once we do the high step, we can make our way towards the end zone. Okay. Hey, man, sometimes it's better not to ask questions. Now, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers up against the Dallas Cowboys defense. We're getting some good matchups. I mean, Mike Evans is one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I kind of like his chances here, to be fair. Mike Evans, and of all wide receivers, it is Mike Evans that I expect to catch it on the first try. And that's a dub, but I'm so confused. It's like every time we score, it's because the DB smoking dope. But if we make the catch, that one I expected. And then the second guy is coming in to get me, but it looks like he literally tripped over a blade of grass and, like, fell down, lost his balance. Thank God for the 7'5 frame of Michael Evans. Oh, I love this when Kyler Murray, Arizona Cardinals, up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's weird. These teams with good receivers and good quarterbacks might actually save me some time. That save time might keep me from having to upload this video at 10 p.m. I mean, I guess D-Hop, same thing as Michael Evans. Just chunk it deep to him, see what he can do. And he comes up with the first catch, but too bad, no broken tackle. It's like we cannot beat anybody deep. I guess that's the old man difficulty, but like, you would feel like there'd be busted coverage eventually. I mean, once again, just gotta chunk this deep sidearm. Hopefully, he can come up with the catch. No, that would've been a pick six. Dub. We legit can't get any separation at all. We have not beat one DB deep, and all I've been doing is throwing downfield passes for 40 minutes. My God, all Madden's ridiculous. I mean, maybe... There it is. There it freaking is. Finally. It took us two minutes of throwing it to one of the best receivers in the league over and over again. But hey, sometimes you just gotta be patient in life. Now we get Justin Herbert, the LA Chargers against the Seattle Seahawks secondary. This should be fun. Maybe I can hit B here and get these blocks down the field. One guy to beat. We got the... Okay, block that man. Block that man. Get away from me. Okay, who is that? Palmer? Isn't this a rookie? Like I said, dudes, whatever it takes at this point. Been recording for an hour and I haven't even got out the seas yet. This one hopefully won't take long with Tyreek Hill's 99 speed and the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. Give me a bad defense. I mean, their defense is pretty good. Would be absolutely lovely if you have the option to go ahead and activate their X Factor before we got into the practice. But hey, here we are. Hopefully Tyreek Hill first play can get past the secondary. I mean, he's fast, boy. Please. I bet, oh, it's underthrown, because we don't have Bazooka. If we have Bazooka, that was it already. I mean, I beg you, Tyreek, get there. 
Oh, I love that 99 speed. Only if every team had somebody like Tyreek Hill. That was so easy. Corson wins and the Indianapolis Colts up against the Patriots. And with the Colts and Jonathan Taylor, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to try to get a 99-yard screen pass with the fella. Where's, where's the defenders? Okay, there they are. Coming in very hot and fast. Very hot and fast, but Jonathan Taylor, he doesn't care. Why? Because he's Jonathan Taylor. Oh my God, dude, that just gave me a freaking adrenaline rush. At least the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott have a lot of good options at wide receiver up against the Rams. I mean, their defense has been getting torched lately, but still, look who they have, dude. Wow, Jalen Ramsey. And he got absolutely mossed. And Michael Gallup just made the Los Angeles Rams his bit. This might take me about five years. I mean, Jalen Waddle's pretty fast. Dolphins and Tua versus the Brown secondary. I mean, to be fair, though, we do have Jalen Waddle, who's pretty freaking fast. I think he's second fastest right behind Tyreek Hill in this game. But, I mean, maybe eventually we'll be able to get past the secondary and actually get an easy touchdown. Not obviously as quick as Tyreek. But still, they're just, like, running with us. It's, like, every time. Nobody's pressing on the outside. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for being a part of my life, Jalen Waddle. Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts up against the Baltimore Ravens defense. They just don't press on this play like they used to back in the day. Devonta Smith is a great receiver. He has a one-on-one -on -one chance here. And Devonta Smith is going to be one of the few receivers to score on the very first attempt today. That makes me so happy. It, like, saves me, like, five minutes on average every time. The Atlanta Falcons, Matt Ryan. That's going to be relatively easy. Okay, Russell Gage. Can we hit that block? Okay, we literally have... We literally have one man to beat. One man to be Russell Gage. This is going to be another touchdown in under a minute. Let's go, dudes. But I guess over time, I've just started to learn what plays work and what don't. And that one, that was a dub. The football team and Taylor Heineke up against the Panthers. They have such good corners. Can we try some sort of like wide receiver screen or something? Because breaking tackles isn't a problem. Hold on. Curtis Samuel, he's really fast, isn't he? He has like 90-something speed. Let's go, Curtis Samuel. Oh, my God, dude. I was trying screen after screen after screen. Oh, now Jimmy G and the 49ers. This one might be tough against the Ravens D for the second time. Just to be fair, though, they do have Debo Samuel. To be fair, kind of like some of the other fast receivers, I might just send Debo Samuel deep and hope eventually he gets past the corner. It's literally only happened one time today with Tyree Kill. For some reason, on all Madden. It doesn't matter what your speed is. Like, you just can't run past the cornerback. It's so tough. Okay, he's read the cover so well. I mean, if we get this one-on-one -on -one look, like, maybe he can score first try like everybody else. Not quite. Didn't have the break tackle rating. It's just weird to me that only just a couple of these receivers in, like, an hour and a half of recording can actually get past the DB on arcade mode at that. I guess to be fair, arcade mode does allow me to do stuff like that. Oh god, dude, I gotta throw a 99-yard touchdown pass with freaking Daniel Jones and the Giants against the Browns. Honestly, because it's Daniel Jones, I might find another screen pass to throw to a good receiver and Saquon Barkley, because I really don't know how else we score a 99-yarder with Daniel Jones throwing the football. They set up in a blitz, we have a shot. Okay, we got the ball out. Hold on, can we get... Broken tackle, Saquon! Saquon Barkley, let's go! Let's go, dude! With the screen passes, all we need is a blitz, and you get that! Scored a 99-yard touchdown pass with Daniel Jones in under a minute. I should get some sort of plaque for that. We're finding out the medal, boys. We're finding out the medal. It's much easier, dude. It's the Jags, Trevor Lawrence up against the Patriots defense. That makes it even harder. DJ Chark is our fastest player, 94 speed. Maybe with that size, he could be one of those guys that go up and make the catch first try. Broken tackle. Tackle boom. Let me tell you boys something. Freaking Jalen Mills is clamping DJ Chart. Absolutely freaking clamping him. I mean, maybe if he can block down the field here. All we have to do is make two men miss with a spin move and made a third one for the, one of the two. Maybe one of the two break a tackle, but um, I guess we're going to take this one to the house. I didn't realize there were so many bad teams in a row. The Jets and Zach Wilson versus the Lions. We may score this touchdown in negative seconds. 
Get out my way, bro! God, how are we supposed to score like... Why does it always happen like that? Out of all the pass attempts I've had in this last 4 minutes and 30 seconds, that's how we score? Come on, this time give me somebody a little bit better. It's the Jets and then it's... Oh, you just got to be kidding. Please give me a bad defense. Give me their own defense. The Texans, okay. Hold on! He has everybody beat and he overthrew it! That was like one of the clearest touchdowns we've had all day. Can we get a back-to-back? -back? Okay, this is getting open every time. 14, who are you? That's touchdown. Is that a Quamineus St. Brown or whatever the heck his name is? I don't care who you are. I'll take the toddy. Yes, we finally get a good quarterback in Aaron Rodgers and the Packers against the Bears defense. At least he owns them. I guess this is one of those other instances where you just throw the ball up deep to Devontae and see what the heck he can do for us. You know what, guys? If we can get this video to 10,000 likes, you guys can do it. You guys are insane. We'll do the same exact video, but make sure we do the number one receiver for every NFL team. So 10,000 likes, and we get a 99-yard touchdown with every single number one receiver. Hopefully, we can get one from freaking Devontae right here. It's 101. It's under... Okay, well... I guess it was that simple. Who was that DB? That was pathetic. Cam Newton and the Panthers next. This one's going to be interesting against the Vikings secondary. This might be another one where I try to outrun the secondary with DJ Moore. I mean, to be fair, they are kind of pressing him on the outside. Is him in a safety? He's not going to... He's not like go for all one, isn't he? It's just like some of these receivers do the same thing. Every time he has 19 seconds, but like, why can't we outrun them? It's just like, why does some of these take 10 minutes and others take 5 seconds? The Patriots and Mac Jones up against the Miami Dolphins. Oh, let's go! It actually worked! I'm so happy, dude! They were bringing an all-out blitz. I just ran some slants, and let's go. It took four minutes. That's like the longest touchdown of the last five teams, but I'll take it. No, I didn't have fun. It's mad. Ooh, the Oakland Raiders and Derek Carr up against the Panthers. Hold on. Hold on, let's go. Okay. Okay. I've been trying to outrun the defense for like four minutes with Deshaun Jackson. But dude, I'll always take a tip, catch. Those are fun. The LA Rams and Matthew Stafford up against the football team. Okay, maybe this one can actually be a touchdown. Odo Beckham Jr. Oh my god, dude. That is literally what only the third time today. Maybe the second time we got that much separation on a DB and that was against Fuller. I'm telling you guys, arcade mode is no joke. Oh, now we get Lamar and Hollywood Brown up against the football team for the second straight time. Okay, let's do the same exact play. That's the greatest throw I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, Lamar Jackson to Rashad Bateman. That's the best throw of the video. Oh my god, how many air yards was that? I knew as soon as he released that it was a touchdown. I had no idea he was actually going to make that throw off his back foot. Lamar's a psycho. Oh, we got the Saints, and I guess we use Jameis Winston for the challenge up against the Cowboys defense for what, the 76th time? I want to try a wheel route with Kamara. Hold the phone! He's one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker that was literally like the second play, and that is a huge stop. That's the first time today I've been able to get a receiver lined up and a linebacker. Okay! Bros, we're learning! At least the Seahawks, Russell Wilson, and DK Metcalf will be fun. Hopefully up against a bad defense. Ah, nah. I mean, he's one-on-one -on -one with Jalen Ramsey first play. DK Metcalf? Oh, I mean, it's Jalen Ramsey. Oh, God. Now he's got a freaking glowing X underneath this body. Hopefully that'll be magical luck for yours truly. Not even close. I mean, he's literally inside my body running the route for me. What do you want from me? I mean, I, I guess at least that happens. But my God, dude, Jalen Ramsey, a monster. Just needs to learn to tackle a little bit better. The Pittsburgh Steelers and Big Ben up against the Buccaneers again. Well, Blitz here. I mean, Chase Claypool. I think I finally found what works against the CPU on arcade mode, although that one didn't work. Gotta be these little post routes or something, a little cut down the field. Because we cannot get open on any sort of fly route. Are you gonna make you're really gonna make that throw? Out of all the throws you could have made, you're gonna you're gonna make that one. I mean, like, I'll take it. Now the Houston Texans, and obviously we're not gonna use Deshaun Watson, we're gonna be using Tyrod Taylor up against the Miami Dolphins.
Oh, I beg you, bro. Oh, I beg you, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. I about ran out of bounds. That literally would have been the biggest fail of all time. When I look back at my monitor and we were tight roping, I got an adrenaline rush. Bro, that was like the greatest thing ever and the worst thing ever all combined into one. I am so stupid, dude. So my Tennessee Titans and Ryan Tannehill is actually going to go up against the Minnesota Vikings and Kirk Cousins just because they're the last two teams. It'll save me from a last game having to load into. Two more touchdowns, boys. Two more touchdowns to complete the challenge. Oh, God. Oh, my God. A.J. Brown first attempt. We don't get looks like this. We never get looks like this. AJ breaks the tackle. Stay in bounds. Let's go. That's my receiver. That's my wide receiver number one. First attempt. Of course, it's my Titans. Only if we could have done that in real life the last few weeks. Moving over to the Vikings and Kirk Cousins to finish off today's challenge. If we wait a second, we got tons of space, and Justin Jefferson's good for a broken tackle or two every play. Oh, uh, what do we do here? I just like. Hold on, I see a good boy. Is that Dalvin Cook? Okay, that's not, who, who is that? Is that Osborne? That's Osborne to walk off today's challenge. Not Justin Jefferson, not Adam Thielen, not Dalvin Cook. Freaking Osborne?